one of the things I wanted to do since I got my Raspberry Pi was to see if I could connect it up to a mains power supply to control things such as a lamp or turning on um, I don't know, a washing machine or a fridge or something like that. Um, I saw a few people do it on YouTube and two things struck me straight away, which was one was nobody even explained how you could get this working. And secondly, nobody explained the dangers that were involved in connecting you know, your Raspberry Pi that runs on a small 5 volt power supply um, to what could essentially be a full 240 volts um, from your mains electric. And I thought I'd, I thought I'd go over both of those. I based my um, video largely off of this blog I found, which talks about how to control a relay and connecting that up to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO. And um, I've expanded on that a little bit and um, shown you hopefully how to get this working um, with a pre-built board. So one of the things that I mentioned was that this is quite a dangerous project compared to a lot of the other things that we do. I've done on these videos before. Because you're connecting to a mains electric supply, um, you're going to be providing um, essentially 200, up to 250 volts um, to your relay board. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing, this can be quite dangerous. So this is not to be um, done by anybody at least over the age of, um, you must be at least over the age of 18 before even attempting to do something like this. And you really must know what you're doing um, before you start playing around with this type of project. Um, so if you're under the age of 18, this is just information. If you're over, eight, over the age of 18, please make sure you know what you're doing. One of the things you can do to help you and make yourself a little bit safer is to buy yourself a residual current device. This is very much like your um, trip or circuit breaker that you have in your house. If there's any problems, you cross wires incorrectly, um, this will trip and will cut the electric supply to the relay board. Um, this isn't like your, the only piece of safety you should use. You should use anything you would normally do to protect yourself against uh, main power supply. But this is definitely something I'd recommend that you buy before embarking on this project. Okay, so as you would expect, the first thing we need is our Raspberry Pi. And then the next thing we're going to get is um, a relay. I've chosen to go for this um, pre-bought, pre-made um, 8 relay module. It allows you to control up to 8 de um, devices at any one time. And um, I got this off eBay for about £6, so they're really quite cheap. Um, you're going to need something you want to control. Um, I'm going to use a normal lamp and um, just with a standard UK plug on it. And again, I've got my RCD device just for the safety there. So let's look at the pin headers that we have on the relay board and expand that. So we have um, our ground connection and our five volt connection, which we're gonna take off the Pi. And then we have um, the um, ins from one through to eight, which correlate up to here um, with the different eight different relays we have. So the first thing we do is connect up our five volt supply to the um, voltage rail, voltage pin even. Um, we're then gonna connect up our ground rail, or pin again even. And then we're going to connect up our um, GPIO pin. I've chosen pin 17 because that's what the code is based off of. So we'll connect up pin 17 to um, in one pin on the relay board. Then what you're going to want to do is to go up to your um, lamp and you're then going to want to uh, chop that cable off and chop it in half. You're going to take the live wire, which in the UK is um, a brown wire, and you're going to take that up to the first pin. And you're then going to take the um, the wire back out again and down to the plug and then we're going to reconnect up the neutral wire to the plug plug that all into the RCD plug it into the wall and then we'll go through the next section on how we do that in the real world for um, just in a moment in the video so obviously you need your Raspberry Pi with its GPIO cable um, coming out and um, we've got our eight uh, relay module and uh, three jumper wires so I've um, used my Adafruit um, cobbler, Pi cobbler, which it makes it a lot easier to connect it up via a breadboard, but you can just link the pin straight from the GPIO headers straight into the other ones um, on the relay board. So connect up your cobbler if you've got one and your cable. And then what you're gonna need to do is um, identify either on the Pi itself or on the cobbler, the, um, the correct pins you're gonna wanna connect to. So I start with um, the five volt, and then the ground, and then uh, we're going to use pin 17, which is just around there, and then we just connect that up to the first um, in one on the actual relay board itself. 
and then just get that connected. You see the first time I get that wrong and I get it plugged into the second one, so just quickly change that and uh, pop it into the first into the first pin there. Okay, so to make sure that we're safe, we're gonna make sure that we have um, tested our RCD correctly. So when you plug it in, um, it has normally a test feature which you'll press and it will click and will tell you that it's working and then the reset pin um, button that will essentially let you know that it's working properly. So um, read the manual that you have on your own RCD plug, they're all a little bit different I'm guessing, um, and make sure you follow the instructions on that properly. So the next one gonna, thing we're gonna do is get our lamp and we're gonna chop that cable in half and strip the wires and um, connect up the blue wire, which is the neutral wire, um, and um, connect together with a little chop block. And on the live wire, which is the brown wire, just uh, twist them a little bit. And then I'm um, gonna connect them up to the middle pin and the far right pin um, as per the diagram earlier on in the video, and then just wire them up. So now that the wiring is ready to go, we need to do the software. So what you're going to want to do is to download a copy of the, um, the C code. So normally I've done this in Python, um, but I'm going to do this in, in C. So create a directory called um, Relay, so um, MKDIR Relay, and then change into that directory. And then you're going to want to run the command wget and uh, type in that URL that I'll put in the description of the video, um, minus O, and give it the name relay.tgz which is essentially a compressed file that contains the uh, copy of the uncompiled code and the compiled code we're going to want to run. So uh, run the command um, tar space minus zxvf relay.tgz and that will uncompress that file and you can see there we have the um, the first file called uh, gpio underscore relay which is um, as you can see there is a, not a text file because that's compiled C code and if we look at, um, if we run the command more gpio underscore relay.c, that's actually the uncompiled um, source code in C. So if you run the command sudo dot forward slash gpio relay, it will enable the board. Um, run that command again with space on, it will turn um, the relay on and off, it will turn the relay off and it will send a high signal and a low signal to the gpio 17 pin. What that looks like in the real world is um, you'll see a light next to the relay that you've connected to turning on and off. And if you've wired everything up correctly and your lamp's working, you actually see as you change the code, the lamp will turn on and off, which is the desired effect that we all wanted all along. And again, you can see that it's indicated that it's a high signal and a low signal when the light goes on and off there. So another thing we can do is we might want to change the code, which at the moment it only works on GPIO 17. So if you use the command vi, which is a text editor, you can go in and you can make changes to the C code. Um, I'm not sure what you might want to do quite there, um, and obviously each person's understanding of C is going to be different. So go through there, make any changes that you want to do, and save that um, C code. And then we're going to want to recompile that C code into, um, that source code into uh, an executable file. So we're going to run gcc um, space minus o gpio underscore relay, which is the name we're going to call our file, um, which will overwrite the existing one, gpio underscore relay dot c, which is the c co um, code. And if you see there, um, it has a new date of the 24th of November, which is when I did this. And you can see that it's created a new version of the code. Um, any problems or errors you have will be outputted to the screen there. So now, um, We'll run that code and it's all working, but any um, changes you want to make um, to the C code, that is how you'll do it. So um, I'd love to see what people get to do with this. So if anyone actually gets this set up and running, um, I'd love to see a video response of what you've managed to get working. That'd be really cool. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how important it is that if you're um, under the age of 18 that you don't attempt, th attempt this at all. And to be honest, really, you have to only know what you're doing to really attempt this. Appreciate this as a beginner's channel. Um, some people might think that this is a little bit um, unusual for me to be sort of not telling you to do things, but um, I'm only looking after your own safety on this particular video. So if you've got any questions, um, any concerns, please post them in the comments field. I'll try and answer them to the best of my abilities. And um, I hope you guys who know what you're doing out there um, have fun with it.